Hey guys, I'm finally back in Brisbane. I arrived back in from Perth this morning. Oh man, I had been like catching up with Sarah, doing so much stuff this morning and uh, getting the house sorted. We went to Bunnings as well. We got more plants. If you guys remember that video that we did, um, we needed to go get some plants for these stupid pots that we keep buying. So we ended up getting the sausage dog plant, so that's all sorted. This plant has pretty much died. That plant has got a mealy bug all over it, so we had to fix that one this morning. Um, so we sprayed it with like insecticide. We got this new plant, and I think we have that pot, which is sick. This is the new flamingo with its new plant in it, and also this rhino, which we also have a plant in it. Hell yeah. So the plan today, I was originally going to try and wash the cars, but it's been the first day in a couple of days that it's actually been fairly windy. It's been on and off raining all day. It's actually been super nice weather. Um, so I thought we could do something a little bit different. So this right here is the current editing setup. It looks horrible. It's got three screens, actually looks pretty sick, but um, there's just crap everywhere. That computer there is just not doing it for me anymore. So I ordered some parts for it to hopefully speed it up. It actually was a pretty decent computer. I bought it about seven years ago. Through that time, I've upgraded to a 650 watt power supply. I've upgraded to a 1060 graphics card, uh, six gig, and also an SSD. So it actually runs pretty decently. Uh, however, it's got an old i5 processor. It's got an old motherboard. It's got an old eight gig RAM. And when I'm streaming and doing everything as well for you guys, it just isn't cutting it anymore. So I got some new parts and I, I spent lots of money, but I need to do it. So I ended up getting some awesome computer parts. I don't even know where I got them from. If you guys remember a bloke on the channel called Jacob Steele, uh, he is my computer guru. I know nothing about computers. I know how to kind of like build them. How hard could it be, right? He sent me a list of parts. I said, okay, you have my card. Here's 500 bucks, go for it, order something. And so he ended up getting me a new CPU, a new motherboard and more RAM. So hopefully should beef up my computer. This is what I got. So I decided to go with the new AMD Ryzen chips instead of uh, Intel. He recommended these chips and I was like, okay, sweet, I'll give it a go. So this is the Ryzen 5 3600, which I believe is on par with the old Ryzen 7s. Uh, like this is sort of the new generation of them. So along with that, I also needed to go with an AMD compatible uh, motherboard. So I ended up going with an ASRock 320M HDV R4.0. Uh, if this is making any sense to you guys, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of geeking out. I kind of don't know what they do, but I'm just going to put them on my computer. Should be sick. And also, we are upgrading the RAM from 8 gigs to two 8 gig sticks, which is going to give us 16 gigs of RAM. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can game and stream at the same time. Uh, yeah. So first things first, I am going to get that computer out of the way, clean this all up, and then we're going to sort this thing out and I'll show you guys what's in it. Oh and also I completely forgot, when I put the three screens on there and connected like the webcam and everything else as well, I think I actually fried my CPU because it started really glitching out and started doing some weird stuff when I connected all three screens. I think it just overloaded the computer with all the screens and uh, running all the apps that I was. So uh, yeah, so keen to get this sorted. My cable management has always been a big issue, so bad. Alright, so this right here is my computer. I purchased it off PC case gear. I had an AMD 7870 Mist graphics card, which was pretty good at the time, but now I've obviously outgrown that. So it's still a very, very small case. So we need to go with a smaller motherboard, um, which will all fit perfectly. Um, so pretty much from the old system, I've replaced a graphics card, as I said, to a 1060. Um, I've also done the SSD. I've also done the power supply because the power supply blew up on me the other time. So I ended up going with a 650. So that should be fine with covering everything that I'm about to do to it. Apart from that, we should be all right with cooling. We've got a massive big cooling fan here, massive exhaust fan right there. So we should be sick. Um, yeah, I'm so keen to get this all sorted. I originally purchased it as like a pre-built system, but now that I have a little bit more sort of knowledge about all this sort of stuff, I'm pretty game to uh, try do stuff myself. So we'll see how we go. Could get interesting. Could blow up my computer, who knows? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna get straight into it. We got a fair few little tools and I know I have to take out the graphics card, just do a whole lot of that sort of stuff. So it's gonna unplug everything, hope it works. <laughs> So I took a few 
photos, the PC is now looking very bare. Um, I just tried to sort of keep the cables everywhere that they were, because I'm just hoping that everything is literally just in the same spot. I'm pretty sure it would be. Let's set up the new CPU, motherboard, and RAM. Should be sick. All right, so all of my old systems currently out at the moment. Um, the Intel stock fan, the Intel chip, i5, uh, also the four gigs of RAM. I had uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM. There you go, so there'll be two four gig sticks. And then um, also ran a gigabyte GAB75M-D3H. I have no idea what that all means. All I know is that this, not enough for what I want to do. So it's going to be so cool. This right here is my graphics card. This is the 1060. And this is also the Wi-Fi chip that sits on my motherboard as well. Definitely need this because my house does not have any ethernet, which is annoying. So yeah. Okay, so let's open up the motherboard. It comes with a new backing plate, which is cool. Uh, cool, cool. I have more cables, excellent. Um, also, installation disc, I believe. Oh, it's a driver DVD, there you go. Um, now I'm hoping my Windows is just gonna boot up without any issues, I highly doubt it though. But um, yeah, just gonna have to reinstall Windows maybe. And this right here is the new motherboard. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous to do this. Should be right though. Righto, so before I put the motherboard back in place into the computer, I'm going to quickly open up some of these things. So this right here is the Ryzen 5 CPU. Um, so this one here is by AMD. And apparently at the moment this thing is very, uh, very similar to the Intel Core i7. It comes with a new AMD fan, which I'm going to be fitting, because my old one will just not keep up with the load. And this right here is the new Ryzen 5 CPU. Rightio. Excellent. Also comes with a neat little Ryzen 5 sticker. Alrighty, let's get this thing out of here without shocking it. I'm super scared of static. I'm going to bring the case over so that way I can ground myself to that. Beautiful. Alright, so now I have the CPU, I have all the cables I could possibly want to connect it, plus the driver CD and also my little sticker, which is sick. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff out the way. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly unbox the cooler as well. This is just a regular AMD fan. I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with this build, so yeah, this would be completely fine for what I want. Alright, and then I just have to unbox the RAM. Beautiful, there is one stick of 8 gig RAM. And there is the second stick of a gigram. Super, super, super careful. I'm going to quickly open that up right there. First of all, I'm going to be installing the chip. I need myself in the case because I do not want to get static on this right here. Apparently, these are a lot easier to install than the Intel ones. So, I'm going to have to line these up. Is that it? Cool. <laughs> all right, all right, that's in. That's in, that's all good. All right, I believe the next bit would be installing the fans. All right, so silly me completely forgot uh, thermal paste. So I literally just drove about 30 minutes down to Umart in uh, Chermside, where to go get some thermal paste, so that's all sorted. And I've just been watching a quick video on how to install this fan right here. Basically, uh, they have two brackets right here and right here. Quickly bring you guys closer so you can see. So yes, it uh, has two brackets, one right here, one right here, which you do need to remove to install the uh, AMD fan. And then also in, uh, apply the thermal paste, and then we should be good to go. Sitting all alone in my room. You're stuck so Now don't do what I did and put the fan right in where the RAM is supposed to go. Bad idea, doesn't work, awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I've just routed the fan completely different so that way hopefully it looks uh, it looks straight up in my, uh, my case, which is awesome. I've also routed the cable around so it looks a hell of a lot nicer than what it did before. And then, it's gonna get the two RAMs. 
Ram away scares me. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow, just like a bought one. Now I'm going to put the motherboard back into the PC. Before I do that, I'm going to install this backing plate right here. Because otherwise, I would not be able to get it in. I don't want any holes in my case. Should be cool. Oh, Alright, so now comes the scariest part of the entire build. And that is putting the motherboard back in. Put these cables everywhere. So, I'm back. Max is here. Don't give my viewers that sort of attention, mate. Just love, mate. Come along for love. Oh, okay, radio. Fair enough. Um, I'm still stuck behind this thing. I've just figured out all the wiring. The only bit I had an issue with was um, I had to extend this cable right here um, for the fan at the front. These little bits here, I had to sort of read the instructions, which I know is crazy. Um, read the instructions for these things here, basically just to make sure that I'm putting the power cable in the right socket. Everything else as well. Um, but apart from that, everything should be good to go and ready in the system. Now after to do is put in my wireless card and my GPU, and then, um, yeah, that should all be sweet. And then, should be ready to fire her up. Radio, GPU, the other thing, let's send it, shall we? I got your back to say things slow. Alrighty, so, computer's all sitting there, I'm just about to connect it all up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly, once the computer turns on, quickly eject the disk drive. Basically put the driver's disk in, because I'm not quite sure whether that might sort of help boot the computer up. I'm also going to see how it goes on its first startup, because possibly everything may just work straight up. However, because it's going from uh, Intel to AMD, it could be a little bit different. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly uh, start it up, see how it goes. If it doesn't go to plan, I'm just going to basically do a full factory Windows reset. That way, um, I have a USB for it. Literally put the USB in, boot entire Windows off the USB, and then we should be good to go. I just hope I haven't ruined anything. I'm pretty sure it's all good. Don't let me down, girl. Okay, it's got power. Oh, God. All right, it's working. All right, so I've got the screen working. Uh, apparently, one of my cables is just out, which is annoying. Um, looks like it saved all my operating system, which is awesome. Well, it looks like everything's working just as it normally would. Uh, looks like I might have to install some drivers like uh, the wireless chip and everything else like, as well. One thing I did notice is that fan is a lot louder than the last one. Might have to look at liquid cooling. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. Alrighty, so I got the whole thing set up. All the drivers are installed. And you guys already know I had to play a couple of games of PUBG, literally just because I wanted to see how it goes. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, pretty much strip the entire setup, redo the whole thing, fix up all the wiring you guys can see down there. It's just terrible. And um, this setup should be so sick. So I've been cleaning up the setup for around about half an hour now. This is how far I got into it. So uh, Max and Sarah came and helped out a little bit before, but they've just gone to watch Married at First Sight. Good luck to them. Um, but yeah, pretty much got the rug under it now, which is looking so sweet. I just wish it fit down there. I might be able to try and find a little off cut to go down there. Um, but yeah, got the Adam Ozzy core cover here. Mighty Car, my poster, my, uh, my diploma, that thing up there. Uh, and then three screens and down the back is where I'm pretty happy. You can see kind of the cable management. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but I kind of just like have been rolling up all the things into like little coils so that way it doesn't um, make too much of a mess down here. It just sucks because with three screens there are just so many cables down the back here. But um, yeah, I think it's actually looking pretty clean. I'm going to try and uh, 
make sure like all these ones are just like connected the whole way up at the back here. Um, yeah, I am like, I'm super stoked to help turning out so far. Um, all I have to do now pretty much is do the keyboard, the mouse, set up all the speakers and then she'll be mint. Beautiful, just got the three screens working all together now. So uh, trust me, it's going so much nicer than it was the other day. Alrighty, so far this thing is looking so sick. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get like some double side tape so that way I like raise the screens a little bit, that way I can have the speakers on the side as well. Um, what I've also done is I have a front left, a front right, I also have rear right, but it's kind of like the sideways right in a way, and the sideways left. I'm gonna kind of set them up in that sort of orientation so that way I can kind of hear stuff if I don't want to wear my headset while playing PUBG or something like that. Um, yeah, it's gonna look so sick. And uh, I did sort of stuff with the wiring up there so it kind of like jumps across the back and then up there and then all the way down. I'm gonna like clean this all up like really nicely in a second. But um, yeah, it's gonna look so much nicer. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm gonna like neaten up all these and like zip tie all these together. This is gonna be a pain to get undone. But um, at the moment that's how it's currently looking. I know it looks really messy, but if you kind of like have it in a way that, you know, these three cables are together, you know, these cables are together, um, yeah, in a way that you can kind of like work it all out. It's a lot neater than my last setup and hopefully this one here is good. Um, and then pretty much I'm going to run the cables out and then see I'm behind the leg and then, and then down to the sub down there, which basically goes to my 5.1 sound. So it's going to be sick, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> let's get underneath and let's start doing all those cables down there. That's awesome. There she is, all done. Everything working properly, all the speakers working great. We got one last thing to do. You guys all know what that is. And I got the lights off for this one. Oh yes. Oh man, that makes me so happy. Well, there you guys have it. The full setup, ready to go, ready to edit on. I'm sorry, but it's like, it's the next day. I just like, I stay up so late, just finishing off all the tiny little things. So, uh, <laughs> you guys can see I kind of like raided Sarah's desk and just put everything on there. I'm gonna have to find a little place for all this. Um, but yeah, three screens all set up, ready to go. They've just all started up. That looks so sick. And I finally found a way, and I finally found a way that I can make them all one screen. So pretty much to play games with three screens, all you need to do is have the center screen um, act as the middle of the screen in a way. So pretty much instead of having three 1080p monitors with an NVIDIA graphics card, all you have to do, change around some of the graphics settings and then that way you can change it to like, I think it's about 5760 by 1080. So that way, so that way pretty much it acts as a massive big wide screen instead of just three separate screens. So I'm going to quickly set up a game right now, which I was trying last night, just to show you guys just how amazing this is going to be. I have my wheel and stuff down there, which I won't be able to sort out just yet, but um, yeah, I'll quickly jump into Assetto Corsa and, uh, and show you guys exactly what I mean about gaming with three screens. It's going to look so good. So if you guys sort of didn't know what I meant by having it all as one screen, in a way that you can kind of like, it doesn't snap onto the edges. So yeah, it, it kind of just acts as one whole screen, like I can pretty much, if I really wanted to, make this page wider to go into there. So it's not snapping between three screens, it just acts as one massive screen. So uh, it's pretty cool, like, I do enjoy it, it will take a bit of getting used to, considering I have my editing program and everything, um, like here, and then I'm going to have like a, a preview of what I'm watching there. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy, um, I will get used to it. I played. PUBG last night, but it doesn't really work that much, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, set of Corsa. I'll show you guys just how awesome this is going to be. <laughs> so keen. Alrighty, it's just loading up a Seto on all three screens. I find it so funny that a Seto pretty much brings up an entirely new window just to do stuff. But um, yeah, trust me, guys, this 
looks so sick. There you go, you guys can kind of see. In a way, I need to figure out a way that I can pretty much like get rid of that little bit there. I know there's ways you can get rid of the um, the border sort of thing. So that way, like, you know, you pretend that the rest of the door's there because you can't actually see it. It's a bit annoying having like the borders in between there, which was probably why a lot of people go to the widescreen monitors. But um, this is still very cool. So uh, see if I can do this one-handed. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah, you guys kind of get the deal. It looks so cool. So this is a performance right now of pretty much the new CPU. As you can see, it's got the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 6 core processor. Um, so, looking at it at the moment, it's got a Seto running on three screens currently, um, and it's using, I would dare say, probably about 15, there you go, 15% of, uh, of what the chip's capable of, so hopefully I should be able to uh, stream, play games, and uh, do all that sort of stuff now, so that should be awesome. Um, however, the one thing that I'm looking at at the moment is my GPU. My NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1063 gig has been using 100% of pretty much everything. So like the full three gigs, um, yeah, literally it's just been, it, it's pushed to its absolute limits every single time I'm doing something. So I think I'm going to, like the, the games aren't glitchy or anything, which is awesome. Like as you can see, it's actually really smooth at the moment. I think I'm going to try and upgrade the graphics card at least to a 1080 possibly. Um, yeah, you guys can kind of see like, with the screens right now, it kind of looks a little bit weird, so I'm gonna have to fix that up. But um, yeah, you guys can kind of see right now, it's uh, yeah, it's looking so sweet. Yeah, I think upgrading to a 1080 would be awesome. However, at the moment, my graphics card is still absolutely just smashing it. I'm pretty much playing most games on three screens and around about medium and uh, medium plus. Like a certain course I had on ultra the entire time that I was playing that games, and it was it was literally flawless. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's all working, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> what more could I want? Oh my god, Steam is being weird. Please no. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing, Steam? <laughs> there we go. All good. 